Hi everybody, my name is Mark and I want to show you an instant pot recipe that we found on a lady named Katerina's website called dietcode.com. It's called Honey Garlic Chicken and it's super simple to make and if you're, you love your instant pot as much as we do, you're going to love this recipe. So check this out. Okay, so the first thing to make the sauce, we're going to use half a cup of low sodium ketchup. We're going to use half a cup of light soy sauce. Uh, half a cup of honey and four cloves of minced smashed up garlic. Put it all in your little mixing bowl. I already made some of this so you mix it up. Yum yum yum. I think in this one I actually put in uh, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar uh, when it was all done just because we like it that way. Makes it a little bit more yummy. So just make your sauce, get the sauce aside, let the garlic sit in it for a little bit. This is maybe half an hour or so. And then while that's sitting around, you're going to go, you've got some uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I took out this morning and sat out on the counter so they can come to room temperature all day. And no, I'm just kidding, obviously. We just cut them up. Don't let your chicken sit out on the counter all day. That would be pretty bad. Um, anyway, we've got about three pounds of chicken thighs here, boneless, skinless, and they're ready to go. All right. We're going to saute the chicken. You can use toasted sesame oil. Remember, it has to be toasted. It's very important. There's regular sesame oil, toasted sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil has that good nutty flavor that you're looking for. goes good with the sauce. So I'm probably going to do this in two batches. So we'll just put in, what, a tablespoon? Nice hot pan. And we'll get these puppies in there. Doing this backwards. Uh, that's probably enough. Don't crowd the pan. Bring the temperature of the pan down too quick. Doesn't thought there was good. So we'll let those brown up maybe like two minutes. Then we'll flip them over. Actually, you know what we can do while we got it here? Put a little fresh cracked pepper on there. There's enough salt in the sauce, so you don't really need salt. Even though we're using low sodium, there's still plenty, in, even in light soy sauce. So. All right, we'll give this a couple minutes and uh, we'll be right back. All right, time to put these babies over. I can't remember which one I put in first. It was probably back here. So. All the cameraman's backed off a little bit. He doesn't like getting sprayed with spitting, popping oil. So, but, uh, yeah, looking good. That yummy fried chicken smell with the sesame oil. So good. I don't think I'd be able to fit five pieces in this instant pot. It's pretty small. But I guess if you have a bigger one, you can use that to saute. Okay, so uh, we did our first batch of chicken, and then this is the second batch. We saute on both sides. I'm actually going to turn this off because they're pretty much done. And then we're going to take them into. The instant pot. Trying not to get the chicken juice all over the countertop, so I put a little towel out there. So these are done. I'm going to take this off, put it over there, and let that cool down, and then I'll wipe it out with a paper towel. So what do we got over here? Oh, can you see in there? Just a whole bunch of pate chicken. Really good. Now this is really simple. I'm gonna turn this puppy on. Uh, well, how do we turn it on? Manual? And then let's do it for probably 10 minutes. Take the sauce. Remember, you gotta have liquid in this puppy when you turn it on. Dump this right over the top. Oh, this is so good, you guys, I promise. 
You see in there? Oh my goodness, looks amazing. We got our top on here. Probably should have put the top on first. Let's try that again. Turn it off. Make sure we're set on ceiling. Now we'll turn it on. Don't do it backwards, you blow up your house. <laughs> 10 minutes, it'll give you time to change something on there, and if you don't, it'll just start beeping, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, well, that uh, is coming up to pressure. We're gonna make a little slurry that we're gonna use in the sauce. When all the chicken's done, we're gonna take it out. So there's about one tablespoon of water in there, and we'll use about cold water. Remember, it's gotta be cold water. Just mix that up, and we'll just have that ready to go when that chicken's done cooking. We'll take the chicken out, put it on saute mode, and we'll bring that sauce and all the juice that's in there, get it start boiling, we'll add this to it, we'll thicken it up, and it's going to be perfect. All right, so this thing's on, and it's coming up to temperature. You see the steam's still coming out. It occurred to me that I went through that pretty quick when I threw, kind of threw everything in here. So all I'm doing is I'm going to cook this on the manual setting, for 10 minutes. So when I turn it on, I click manual, and then I can adjust the time plus minus to however many minutes I want, and then you just let go. And as long as there's liquid in there and whatever it is you're trying to cook, you'll be good to go. It's going to take a few minutes to come up to temperature, fill with pressure, and that thing will stop, steam will stop coming out, and it will cook for 10 minutes. And then there's two ways you can release the pressure, and we'll do that, show you the both of those when this is all done. Alright, so we got four minutes left on this chicken. Thought we'd put together a nice little salad. So uh, we were out in the garden today and we got some fresh kale, uh, some fresh cabbage, pulled up a few carrots. Um, thought we'd make a nice little salad that uh, mommy will like for, for dinner. And so we're just going to toss this around a little bit. Get that all nice and pretty. And, oh, we picked some broccoli today also. Hey, stop it! Alright, so it beeped. 10 minutes is up. It says two minutes. That means it's turned itself off. It's keeping itself warm and it's been off and staying warm for two minutes. So there's a lot of pressure built up in here. Obviously with an instant pot, you don't just open it. You have to release all the pressure. If you do it naturally, you can just let it sit, take about 10, 12 minutes um, or you can open it up. I'm still afraid like a lot of them people out there to use their hands. So we're just going to twist this over to the side. come out all right so steam stopped coming out the little thingy you can hear it drop so we're gonna open this and check out open it away from you a lot of steam don't need that chicken facial Looks pretty good. So, take the chicken out, put it in a bowl. Get it all over the counter. Wife loves that. I guess you don't need to watch me pulling stuff out of a bowl. Okay. All right, we got all our chicken out. So we're just gonna cover it with some foil. Keep it warm. Not like it's not gonna stay warm. And then we've got our sauce in there with all that yummy fat and everything. So we're gonna turn this on to saute mode. And it's on normal right now. If you want to change it, you could hit adjust, higher saute, lower, normal. So that'll beep and then it'll start sauteing. Juice in there is pretty hot, so it won't take very long to come up to a boil. Here we go. All right, we're sauteing. So we had this. Remember the cornstarch stuff we made earlier? We made it a little while ago, so it's been kind of sitting. So mix it up a little bit. A lot easier to do with two hands. Then we'll dump that in. And if you've ever cooked with this, you know what's going to happen. It's going to get all thick and yummy real quick. Let 
let it boil for a little bit. Let that cornstarch take effect. Then I am just going to turn this off because this thing has so much residual heat that it's going to keep going. So we'll keep stirring it every once in a while. All right, sauce is done. Some water boiling. Gonna get the best thing ever created. These Mishai noodles. So yummy. Mr. Big Fingers there. These are really cool. They just take two minutes. Get them at the Asian market. They're cheap. They're delicious. We'll just put three in because I'm not sure how many people are eating. Really good. Mishai. Get my tongs. I took the chicken out. Different tongs. If you notice in the beginning, they had the black, uh, black rubber tips. So take the ones that you used on the raw chicken. Get rid of them after you put the chicken away in the Instant Pot. So that'll be done in two minutes. Then we'll plate up and stuff it down our gullet. Fun! All right, noodles are done. Plate some of this up. See who wants to eat. Oh yes, spill that boiling water on your hands. Get some chicken out of here. Oh, it's falling apart, I love it. Oh, by the way, I put it back in here just to keep it warm. Get some of the sauce mixed back on it. It's falling apart. So remember this sauce had soy sauce, honey, a ton of uh, garlic. Uh, that ketchup, which believe it or not, you don't really doesn't really taste like ketchup. So, and that soy sauce. So I'll get a little extra sauce out of here. And I cannot believe that I forgot this at the store today. But normally I would, you know, chop up some green onion, put it on top for some color and some flavor. And I cannot believe that I forgot that at the store today. So there it is. See if it's any good. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Mmm. So good. I probably feel it'll look like every other chef on TV every time they taste something. Oh my gosh! Before it even touches their tongue, they're going nuts about how good it is. This really is good. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget the green onion, and uh, I appreciate it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that was the first video I've ever done, so if there's any criticism or any tips, please let me know, because I don't want to just start off sucking, like if I'm picking my nose or something, or you know, scratching. Well, you know, hey, but uh, if you could like and subscribe, um, I'd appreciate it. Hopefully we can get this thing off and running. I'll try to put out a video every week or so. Hopefully more than that. We'll see. Thanks again.